Welcome to the Extract Craft Source Turbo new user introduction video. In this video, we'll be covering the resources, components, operation, and guidance that will be very useful for using your new Source Turbo. The first resources you'll come into contact with are right on the box. On one side, you have easy step-by-step -step instructions for ethanol extraction, and on the other side, the website for the user manual as well as customer service contact information. Next, you'll find an incredible amount of digital resources located right on the extractcraft.com website. To begin with, on the top right horizontal menu, you'll find the download for the user manual. You definitely must read this before operation. It'll help not only your performance, but safety as well. Scrolling down the page, you'll soon come to our YouTube section, where you can watch the videos directly from our website, or you can click the banner to go directly to our YouTube channel. The items in the amazing resource section are truly a don't miss. There are two incredible user groups and an instructional blog that will teach you more than you'll ever need to know. Finally, at the bottom of the web page, you'll find some very important information, including company contact information, newsletter sign up, reseller application, and legal information. Now to become a little more familiar with the machine, we're going to take a look at the components. It begins with the base. And the seal, the collector, the crucible, the lid and top seal, and topped by the ice tray. The next section is for operations. This is where you're going to spend most of the time with the machine. You start with setting the altitude. Everyone, including those at sea level, must set the altitude with the following very easy steps. Starting the process couldn't be easier. For normal mode, you can start either using the app or the button interface on the base. By using the button, you simply press and release the button once, the button will flash once, and then the process will start. Alternatively, you can use turbo mode, which is the same temperature but works twice as fast. Simply push and hold the button for three seconds, release, the button will slow flash twice for confirmation, and the process will start. During the operation, you'll notice two things to let you know that the unit is working. The light will blink once every 10 seconds, and there'll be a clicking sound when the unit is delivering heat. Stopping the process couldn't be easier. Push the button one time on the app or the base, the light will blink three times, and the process stops. The source turbos equipped with a 120 minute safety cutoff feature. This is a merely a safety cutoff to make sure that the unit's not left running accidentally. It's not a measure of performance, it's only for safety. The 120 minutes can be reset by stopping and starting very easily. You push the button to stop and then you can restart it in normal mode or in turbo mode. It's important, do not break vacuum and open the machine when stopping and starting. Just stop and restart. The process is finished and ready to be stopped when the contents of the crucible are turning from a liquid to a light oil form. You can test the viscosity by tilting the machine back and forth or side to side very gently. If it's moving like a light oil, it's probably ready to come out. Toward the end of the process, the temperature will ramp if things are left in too long, so it's very important to pay close attention toward the end. We've reached the last section of this video with a handful of useful points of guidance. Guidance point number one is ethanol condensation on the base plate. At the end of the process, sometimes you'll find a little bit of ethanol on the base plate. That's completely normal and it's designed for. 
If you think about the inside of the chamber, you can see that it is a wet vapor environment. And some of that vapor is inevitably going to sink and settle on the base for condensation. You're going to find this is going to happen more when it's cool weather. If you're working in a room that's colder than a normal room temperature. Or if you leave the machine closed when the process is finished to cool. Guidance point number two. Never stop the process, open the unit, add more, and restart. It'll make a complete mess. Just complete one batch at a time. Guidance point number three. Never use a butter maker or other heated appliance to make a tincture for extraction. It's the worst possible way to do it regardless of what their user manuals may advise. It'll cause splattering and it'll make a mess. Simply follow the guidance provided in the Extract Craft user manual or the resources provided on the Extract Craft website. Guidance point number four, stick to the basics and enjoy. Beginners have a tendency to get nervous, overthink, and overcomplicate it in the beginning. Just take it slow, stick to the basics, and enjoy the craft. And when you're first getting started, it's recommended to use small test batches, don't use important materials, Definitely take advantage of using the user groups and educational blogs and contact customer service if you have any difficulty at all. The fifth and final point of guidance is download and review the user manual. It's very important for both performance, satisfaction, and safety. It has a lot more detailed information on things that aren't in this video, like the Source Turbo mobile app. Definitely take advantage of all of the information provided by ExtractCraft. This concludes our Source Turbo introduction video. If you have any more questions, feel free to email info at extractcraft.com, give us a call, or definitely take advantage of all the resources available on our website. Stay lifted, crafters.